what we're going to do here is we're going to make a hair rope. And basically the idea of making the hair rope years ago was to, to cover down the cock of hay here, as you can see here in the picture. And the rope was made with its own hay. And this is how you just had a little, they called it a little, uh, basically a small twister. And you had to have a second person to do this job. And that person was important that they had an idea as to what was going on. And you just kept feeding the, the bit into the, into the rope, nice and steady. Normally the idea was to go down to the bottom of the cock of hay, that you would get a good, a, a fairly good bit of moist hay, because the tendency was that the cock of the hay and the top was more drier, and it left the rope a bit more brittle. And as you can see here, now, just as we're making it, and, and the other person keeps stepping back a little bit, and as the rope gets longer, you need to step back that little bit. And just, it's a, it's a, a steady little pace that you work on all the time. And there's nothing more about it, only just you can go as long as you want. If you, you look at the cock of hay, it could be a big cock like this, and you judge basically the size of the cock of hay that you want to make it for. And then just basically when it's finished, you just stop and you get the fork and you put it up in the cock of hay and you uh, unhook and that's basically all that's in it. When they brought the sheep to the fairs, they had a tendency to tie three or four sheep together that the sheep couldn't go. So if you had four or five sheep tied together, they were in a little pin and the man or the woman went off and got the breakfast and left the sheep there with a little halter made for them out of, the, out of those hair ropes. 